Hey guys, Tyrup here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to tweak your graphics settings using the Reshape program. So to install Reshape, come to reshape.me and hit the download button, took you down to here. Download it, very small file, 2.7 megabytes. And you can run that. And then come to this dialog box, select a game, you're going to be selecting Company of Heroes. And then use direct 3 d 10 11 12 you want to install all of this just hit ok and boom installed then reshade is installed it's simple as that but you'll probably want to install some presets some settings that people have already made for this so you can uh, scope out the differences so okay, you can come to wherever company heroes is installed in my case if steam library steam apps common and company of heroes 2 and then you just copy them into here. In my case, I've got dubyhat.ini. This is the guy whose guide I was initially using. There's preset settings. I've copied them in here. I've also got a couple more uh, installed in here, realism v2, and so on and so forth. And you can see reshaders in here now after doing that install. So if you want to look at a few different presets, ones that other people have made, this is a place to come, or at least this is where I was coming. Sfx.thelazy.net. And this is the company of Heroes 2 page. There are a whole bunch of them. Look, so endless amounts of pages for different games. But here we've got eight of them. So yeah, you can come and have a look at ones that other people have made. And uh, it's really cool on this website because it, they've got these like sliders, before and after sliders. So you can see what these presets are maybe going to do. How they're going to look before you uh, download them and install them personally i found these like marginally uh, helpful i found you know just installing them and then looking at them in game to be a lot more vivid and just overall better but it's going to maybe help you refine which ones you want to get and when you uh, download these uh, they will come as text files you see over here so basically what you need to do is just rename this to say like beautify code2.ini rather than it being as a text file and needs to be a .ini and then copy that into your uh, company of heroes folder here. So I've, there I've got the derby hat one, beautify code2.1 and so on and so forth. So that's a look at the sweet effects settings database. So if you want to make your own settings and upload them here, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll check them out and then not all of us can benefit from your hard work if there's one I think I like maybe I'll leave it in the video descriptions or maybe I'll pin it to the top of the comments and then everybody can benefit from your uh, tweaks of these settings so now I'm going to be running through how to use reshade in game the default hotkey to open up the menu is home which by coincidence also takes you to your home base company of heroes so you might want to remap that if you constantly use that hotkey but i never do and that'll open up this menu so by default you'll be on the default preset which has nothing active as you can see there and uh first one i'm going to be comparing that to is uh derby hat to ini he's the guy who posted about this on code2.org first set of uh, presets here which we're going to be taking a look at side note as well if you want to do before and after testing you will need to set a hotkey here in this case i've set to numpad 9 to toggle the effects on and off and then hit home to close that menu again and we're ready to roll going to take a look at a few different scenes here i'm recording this at high quality at 1440 compared to usual because usually my computer can't really handle that too well but for this where the effects are so important it's important to see those differences you guys well, you'll be able to see this at a high bit right now so yeah here we go uh, before the settings and then after so you can see just like a more yellow hue, darker hue overall. Maybe this is more similar to what it looked like in Co. 1. I'm not sure. I didn't replay really that game too much. A bit foggy on the memory. Yeah, before, after, before, after. You will especially notice around these edges. That before it's quite a little bit jagged. I don't have anti-aliasing on. And after it's a lot more smooth. I believe Reshade uses like a different form of anti-aliasing. Uh, see here SMAA which is supposed to be more resource efficient compared to the regular anti-async so if you're going to be using these at least this is what I've read you should turn your anti-async to off or to medium or high 
no point in uh, using it on low. Personally, I do use low generally. I don't notice too much of a performance hit from it. But just a side note, if you want to make use of reshade, uh, you should turn yours to off or to medium or high. I'll probably turn it to off and just use the SMA. It does definitely look quite a bit smoother. There's one thing, though, you will notice, like especially with text. This is the before. Text is you know, obviously very clear. But afterwards, it does look quite a lot more blurry. So if you need to read a lot of text, you may want to turn this off, especially if you're doing something like a campaign or something like that. The text is definitely and noticeably worse. But yeah, here we are taking a look at a few different units before and after. I'll take a look down here where there's quite a bit of water. Maybe we can get a bit of sun. I'll look over here. The windmill. Very picturesque. Yeah, overall for me, uh, derby hat settings, I don't think I'd use them. Uh, I think I prefer it a little bit brighter like this, personally. And also when I play, I tend to use a uh, blue light filter. I play at night and use a blue light filter. So stacking this on top of that, I think, will just make it way too dark for me in general. But yeah, it's uh, interesting. I also loaded up a couple more settings from a uh, website. A couple more presets which you can download. We'll take a look at them. This is our Realism V2. This one's got uh, different settings here. Move active to top on this. So Luma Sharpen. It's got a vignette. Curves DPX. Doesn't have the anti-aliasing though. So this is the Realism V2. Give that to the Derby hat settings we had before. Tone Map Vibrance in SMA. Eh? Take a look at these ones now. Ooh. I haven't even checked these ones out before this. <laughs> okay. So that is a big difference. I'm not really, I'm not really, you know, I do quite a lot of video editing, but I'm not really too hip to all the uh, jargon about this. But as you can see there, a big difference here with the uh, realism v2 settings but you can still notice like the edges stay jagged so no smaa on these particular ones you may want to enable those take a look at the water as well but yeah that does seem to be more dramatic or a difference to my eyes at least now i'll take a look at uh beautify co2 another setting this one's got uh Fake HDR, this one's got the SMAA, also has the vignette. Take a look at this one. Whoa, oh, this one is super, super dark. Text is super blurry on this one as well, especially up here on the cheat commands menu. Oh, there is no way I could play with this one. No chance at all. Maybe if you're trying to make like a cinematic video and you don't have video editing software this might be an option for you think some uh, cinematics to your game recordings something like this take a look at the water so yeah that is uh, a look at the reshade in game before and after what it looks like personally i don't think i'm going to be using these i'm just going to leave it as vanilla especially for you, most of you guys who will also be uh, used to seeing it as vanilla. I don't think I enjoyed any of these settings. Maybe I will play around with them, create my own preset later on. But yeah, let's have a look at reshade the effects in game and how to use it. So now we're taking a look at the performance impact of running reshade using the Company of Heroes performance test. So we've got the Derby hat settings turned to on on the left toggle to off in the middle and then toggle to off plus anti-aliasing on low that's the settings that I generally have it on on the far right that's also the order that I ran these tests in I did allow a couple minutes between the tests restart the game hopefully minimizing potential memory leaks and uh, the system heating up but yeah you can see toggle to on and off not much of a difference here at all 
and then toggle to off plus anti-aliasing on low maybe like a one one and a half frame boost so maybe the smaa is slightly better though that could also just be random differences between the tests or just a slight heating up of the system and then finally after deleting reshade performance appears to be the same as just leaving it installed and having it toggled off it does mention that reshade may make your startup time slower and i did notice that in testing first boot into company ferris 2 for the day took 39.6 seconds with reshade installed without it installed however only took 23.6 seconds so a big difference there however restarting company ferris 2 doesn't seem to be impacted both times from remaining similar so that was my experience with reshade I don't think I liked any of the presets that I tried, but I may still end up using it just for the anti-aliasing performance, though even that doesn't seem to be a huge difference, maybe like one frame per second. I've included the relevant links into the video description below, and let me know how you guys get on with Reshade, maybe show your presets. Thanks. A special thank you goes out to my Patreon backers who make these more in-depth guides possible.